Hello, today's topic is Revit, families, and what is the difference between type and instance parameter. In this case, I'll show this for materials, but you can relate it to all type of param parameters. So let's do it. Firstly, I'll go to the Revit family here under properties. You can see that the tabletop, if you check, you can check the type of the parameter from here from the pencil, press this button, and here parameter data, it's type, okay, and here for the table legs, um, press the 8 parameter button below, here it's also type, okay, and okay, I will, I will load the family in this uh, project, and I've made few copies of the table in order to show you what is it. If you press, if you select this table, then here under the properties, you can see that there is no parameter for the material here, but you need to go to the edit type and from here inside of the type, you can change it by one click from here. Let's say I can pick this blue tabletop, press apply. It will be applied everywhere to every single copy of this object, of this family. You can use this parameter if you have a huge uh, restaurant or whatever building you have, you want to change the furniture, the particular material of furniture with one click. Or you can use it for windows, doors and for their own, whatever you need. Then further, when do you use the instance parameter? I will go here and I will change the table top to be instance. I'll go here, press the pencil, press instance, OK, and apply. You can notice that there is in Clamor stays default, default, OK. You can load it into the project. Yes, overwrite. And when you select this table, first you can notice that here under the properties, the material it's here, meaning, meaning that only for this copy, you can apply a different material. Let's go inside, press, and let's say now we have here green top. You can choose to make, uh, you can use it when you want to make varieties. Let's say one restaurant with tables, all the tables they have all wooden legs and different tabletops. This is one example of when and how this comes in hand, something like this. That's why it's really useful to know when to use the instance and when the type parameters. The instance is for the particular object and the parameter is here. And the type it's related to the whole to all families, to all copies in the project, and you can manage it from here inside from the edit type. If you liked it so far, please drop a like and consider to subscribe. Also, you can support us in Patreon. Another important thing uh, that we would like to consider is whether the geometry is connected, linked with the materials, with the parameters, in this case materials. If you go to the family, if you choose this or this um, element, let's say the tabletop here, under the properties, you can see that the button has a equal symbol meaning that this parameter is connected with this geometry. But for the legs, this is not the case. How can we do it? Just select the legs, go here to the um, this button, and now we can create from here new parameters. Let's call it like this. I'll keep it like type, OK. OK, then we're going to have it here in the family type. 
and you can we can assign material from here or from the project i will load it and overwrite it now we can see that from here we can change uh, this parameter came here too it's new and we can change it its type let me pick something uh, let's say this one so we can see the difference so now we linked this material or we linked this parameter to this geometry before that it wasn't linked so it means that we are not able to um, change this under the project level this was locked it's not it's it's unchangeable so every time when you have parameters you need to make sure that they're attached to the geometry you need if you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now